Yeah, I got the service, but um, um, at the moment I was trying uh, just to see how it will uh, look with, uh, like you see here, with the leg uh, opened or deployed or how you want to call it. And uh, if I put it like this, it will just go on top of the other servo and it will be like a closed box. Cool. Yeah, and also the, the lid will pop out and little eyes uh. <laughs> will swing around just to see where there is an open path for it to walk. So <laughs> awesome. <laughs> awesome. All right. That thanks. is pretty cool. <laughs> um, regarding the um, uh, range sensors, you know, before we we had um, the sharp sensors. Um, uh, how can I say more available? You know, they were uh, um, something rare, rare to find and uh, pretty bit um, uh, expensive at the time. I was uh, I was working on um, um, infrared sensors, uh, just re like the like Oddbot's um, uh, infrared eye, yeah. But using using infrared LEDs and um, uh, remote control uh, sensors, you know, um, thirty eight kilohertz. Um, in, you know, frequency to to receive the bounced infrared light from uh, nearby objects. And the way I was I was uh, using them, I I had um, a tiny uh, potentiometer. You know that I was adjusting the um, uh, voltage level on the infrared uh, LEDs. You know to um, to adjust the the range at which the objects will be detected. Um, it works pretty well for light colored objects that uh, reflect uh, well the infrared light, but um, it fails at black objects. You can see here the chumbi, and I put on top of it um, a robot just to test uh, the MRI um, um, interface from the Chambi. Hmm. So, in the back, there is a USB hub with a um, uh, USB stick, uh, a camera, and um, the cable that uh, connects to the Micro Botino board on the on the robot. And the the um, White plate you see on top of the robot is uh, actually the um, cover for the Chambi battery. So I can actually put the Chambi on top of this tiny robot. <laughs> yeah, this is how I fried the um, motherboard of the Chambi because instead <laughs> of uh, plugging it to the five volts, you know, I I moved the. Um, the jumper to the battery voltage, and uh, I put uh, 7.4 volts. Actually, I think uh, it was 8 volts. <laughs> um, a two-cell lipo battery directly into the 5 volt uh, input for the chumbi. <laughs> and I was wondering why it doesn't work. <laughs> I added two two skids. Just to keep it uh, nice and steady. <laughs> well, this ro this little robot um, had um, uh, infrared sensor, so I can uh, remote control it. You can see it here, and on the other side, it has a tiny speaker, so I can make uh, sounds with with the robot. You know, so I had my my daughter uh, remote control it using a regular TV remote and just driving it around and um, it has some bumpers to compensate for the blindness of the um, uh, ping ultrasonic uh, sensor. Actually this is a, a 
Seed Studio uh, ultrasonic sensor, similar with Bing. The only thing that's missing is the, um, the green LED that uh, the Bing sensor has. So if you put them like this, you can see they are almost identical. <laughs> Yeah, you found at one point you found a couple of alternate sensors like uh, the 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 sharp and the uh, the ping and the um, Devatech uh, SRF05 are like really popular, but you found a couple of like off off brand ones, right? Yeah, um, this one is from Seed Studio and um, is a bit more expensive than the other one that I found, uh, but. I didn't order the other one, so I didn't test it. This uh, one works just just similar like a, a pink sensor, so it's all good. And it's about um, half price than a pink sensor. I think it's fifteen dollars instead of uh, twenty five or something like that. It's like a, a sharp sensor, almost the cost of um, a little bit more expensive than a, a sharp sensor. Right. 